Hey guys, it's Chris. From creatures that were so scary they sparked legends, to ones that feel like beings from an alien world and more, join me as I tell you about 10 of the scariest sea monsters alive today. Number 10, Box Jellyfish. The box jellyfish is the most poisonous marine animal known to man. They dwell in the waters off of the northern Australian coast year-round and are especially dangerous to humans during the wet season from November to January. Although box jellyfish can grow to be the size of a basketball, they're difficult to spot, nearly invisible in fact, and they dwell in shallow waters, so there's a fairly high risk of accidental contact. A box jellyfish sting is excruciatingly painful. Many victims go into shock from the pain alone. A highly potent venom affects breathing and movement and immobilizes the nerves. Cardiac arrest and death can occur within five minutes. A person who gets stung while swimming alone is unlikely to make it back to shore. Chances are they'll become unable to swim and will drown if the toxins from the sting don't kill them first, that is. The impact of a sting varies based on numerous factors, including the sensitivity of the victim's skin, their body size, the size of the jellyfish, and the amount of tentacles involved. However, a box jellyfish sting is almost always life-threatening. After learning this, are you going to take your chances on a warm summer dip in Australia? Number 9. Bull Shark Bull sharks are considered the most dangerous shark species in Australia, because unlike most other shark species, they can swim in fresh water. While bull sharks can be found in coastal waters worldwide, they're most likely to be encountered in harbors, estuaries, and rivers. In Australia, substantial numbers of bull sharks swim inland, enough that there are commercial shark fishing businesses that operate seasonally, hunting sharks along the country's Clarence River. And how's that for a job? Is it something you'd do? Oh, I hunt sharks on the river, no big deal. Bull sharks are both predators and scavengers and won't hesitate to attack humans and other animals. It's likely that the bull shark is responsible for the large amount of dogs that go missing in Australia's waters, something to keep in mind the next time you take your furry friend out for a swim in the land down under. Some people spend their entire lives swimming in dark estuaries, canals, and other waters favored by bull sharks and never get attacked. Despite the relatively low risk of a bull shark attack on a human, being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes to provoke the temperamental predator. You want to go for a swim, mate? And eh, no thank you. Number 8. Whales On certain levels, the ideas of whales being terrible sea monsters may sound kind of like fantasy. They're gentle giants, right? Of course, usually, but what about the story of Moby Dick? What happened there? A super violent whale scaring the daylights out of us puny humans. You're safer seeing whales in an aquarium than anywhere else, right? As history has shown us, whales are large and powerful, and when they're angered enough, they will indeed go and attack humans and ships. We've actually had quite a violent history with whales, with many practically hunted into extinction for their blubber. Lance Barrett Leonard, senior scientist and head of the Marine Mammal Research Program at the Vancouver Aquarium, had this to say on the matter of whale attacks. The really good, well-substantiated accounts of whales attacking ships date back to whaling days. And there are a couple of classic attacks, one of which is the attack on the Essex that inspired Moby Dick. What's amazing to me is that these accounts of attacks are so few and far between. Given all the contact between boats and whales and people and whales, collisions are relatively rare, and attacks are extremely rare. But again, just because they're rare doesn't mean they can't happen. Given the large sizes of whales, sometimes you have to worry about the unintentional danger as well as the intentional kind. Number 7. Goblin Shark the goblin shark, also known as the vampire shark, is one of the most interesting sea monsters out there. And it's a very old species of shark, one that's been around millions of years. But the reason it's felt to be a sea monster is because of its atypical features that make it very deadly and a very scary predator. First is the elongated nose of the goblin shark that is full of electromagnetic sensors. It can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. When it does find food, It'll not only lock onto it, it'll extend its mouth from its body and chomp down on the foe, a feature that is not common with sharks or various other species on Earth, including the many other shark species that exist. It feels like it's something from out of this world, and yet it's just beneath the ocean's waves. On average, the goblin or vampire shark is said to be around 10 feet long, but because of their rarity and the fact that the adults tend to live in deeper waters that humanity can't reach easily, it is possible that the goblin sharks are much bigger than we realize, which would arguably make them even scarier, not that it needs the help. 
The goblin shark is a fierce predator that doesn't relent, and its unique form makes it something to behold as well as to dread finding. Number 6. Stonefish You would think that a creature with some of the deadliest poison in the world would be wanting to show itself off at all times. But with the stonefish, that's not the case. They prefer to lay low and camouflage themselves within their surroundings. The poison of this fish is so strong that people are known to beg for limbs to be cut off to stop the pain from happening, and it will kill you if an antidote isn't administered, both of which are very scary thoughts to endure. But what separates it from other predators of the deep is that it loves to be on the floor of the ocean it's on, and it'll just blend in with the natural plant life and inanimate objects and just wait. And then when something steps on it, it'll strike with its 13 poison-filled spines. The other reason that stonefish are so feared is that they don't live in the depths of the ocean. They prefer very shallow waters, thus making them very likely to be found by people on beaches or those who take light dives into shallow areas. Though fatalities of the stonefish are rare due to location and antidotes, it's still a creature you do not want to mess with. And now for number 5. But first, let me know what sea creature you think is the scariest in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Number 5. Squids one of the most popular legends of the ocean is that of the Kraken, a deep-sea creature that would rise up to swallow ships whole and take sailors to a watery grave. Numerous reports claimed that this creature was real, and because we couldn't get into the depths of the ocean, many believed it could be a real thing. But the real culprits for what the Kraken is and isn't is the colossal and giant squids. These amazing and also somewhat terrifying creatures live in various parts of the ocean, including near Antarctica and in the major oceans where sailors sailors are known to have passed through. They even live in the depths of the Mariana Trench, showing their survivability in nearly all waters. The reason we believe that these two species are the legendary kraken is because of their long tentacles and massive size. The largest known colossal squid to have been studied was only 15 feet long, but that's because they rarely are seen on the surface, and thus we can't get a true measure on them. For the giant squid, it's a similar case, but they're estimated to be about 43 feet in length at max. As of now, squids as a whole are more well known, but they're still terrifying given their size and ability to ensnare prey with their massive tentacles. While rare, there have been attacks on humans by squids, which makes diving into the waters of the ocean to go and research them rather difficult and dangerous. This usually leads to the use of underwater drones to try and get them on camera, which they have done. Number 4. Anglerfish When it comes to the Mariana Trench, despite its mystery and wonder, there are a few species that are known to the world at large. One such species is the anglerfish. This creature is a hunter and killer like few others, and it tricks its opponents to come to it. Weirdly enough, the anglerfish is actually called the sea devil by some which is appropriate because its face and body definitely remind you of a demon. Its teeth are huge and sharp, and the eyes alone are enough to scare any who see it. And yet, when you think of the anglerfish, you think of the lure that it has on its head. This unique evolution is actually a protrusion that was born out of its body. And if you're curious, yes, it does glow, making it one of the few sources of light down in the Mariana Trench, as it's 36,000 feet below sea level, and thus light can't really reach it. It'll turn the light on just enough to illuminate the area without revealing itself. And it's got a few inches to do so thanks to the length of the protrusion. As the light shines, fish will slowly approach, curious about the light and its source. And while they're distracted by it, the anglerfish will get closer and closer with its mouth, and then eat the fish while they're still looking at the lure. A very interesting thing to know about this creature is that 90% of the time, the anglerfish you see are females, as they can grow to be about 8 inches long. In contrast, the males are only about an inch. If you're curious how that allows them to breed, it's actually kind of creepy, as they fuse together in order to breed, not unlike a parasite. Number 3. Great White Shark Feared all over the world today, the Great White Shark has the greatest number of attacks on humans, with a staggering 314 cases. Of them, 80 were fatal, giving them a fatality rate of 25%. Africa is one of the places that they're most reliably found, especially off the coast of South Africa, where many people do tours to see them. Just in 2019, there were 64 unprovoked shark attacks on humans, with many of those being from the Great White. To be clear, great white sharks do not openly hunt human beings, else their attack numbers would be much, much greater. However, they're not afraid to do so, which is why many try and give them a wide berth. 
In the shark world, they're one of the largest of the predatory sharks, sometimes reaching up to 25 feet in length, and even their average length is over 20 feet. What's more, the great white shark doesn't have natural predators, save for maybe orcas and technically human beings. But aside from that, they run the oceans unopposed. While their strike numbers are undoubtedly high, pop culture has turned a lot of their abilities into legend without scientific proof. The movie Jaws is the most popular of these to blame for this, as it was filmed as a horror film starring a great white shark named Bruce. Outside of humans, though, there's no doubt that great white sharks are one of the deadliest predators in both Africa and the world at large. They have incredible speeds, incredible bite strength, and can even launch themselves into the air in order to grab prey, and then slam them back into the water to stun them. Number 2. Lamprey the species known as lamprey are ones that often get confused with various things, including incorrectly being labeled as lamprey eels by some, despite not having connections with the species. But what makes them so scary is that they're quite literally vampiric in nature. There are about 38 known extant species of lampreys and 5 known extinct species. Parasitic carnivorous species are the most well known, and feed by boring into the flesh of other fish to suck their blood, but only 18 species of lampreys engage in this micro-predatory lifestyle. The species have lived an exceptionally long time, mainly they have existed for about 360 million years, putting them as some of the oldest remaining creatures alive. So you could argue that the idea of vampires was really born in the oceans via the lampreys, and that they lived so long by sucking the life out of others and giving it to themselves. One look at the mouth of the creature, and you'll likely never want to see one up close. Number 1. Megalodon While there were many powerful creatures out there in the ancient world, one that continues to mystify and terrify people in the modern world, despite the creature being considered long dead, is that of the Megalodon. The Megalodon is what you might call a super shark, as it was basically three times as big as the infamous Great White, and twice as mean and aggressive. The fossils found in the Megalodon state that it could grow up to 60 feet in length, but others believe it could actually grow larger. This creature was the true apex predator of the oceans, and only had a very limited set of rivals that could challenge it. One of the reasons being was that not only was it large, it had the teeth to rip through just about any creature out there in the water. But what's strange about this beast was that when it got hungry, like really hungry, it wouldn't hesitate to kill one of its brethren to get food. It's believed that because of its size, the Megalodon would need to eat about two tons of food a day, which meant that at times it had to result to cannibalism in order to stay fed. This, along with environmental changes, led to the Megalodon dying out, and the world is likely a better place for it. But is it that simple? Despite most scientists agreeing that the Megalodon have been gone for a very long period of time, there are those who state that it could still be alive. But then where is it? The thought is the hidden depths of the ocean like the Mariana Trench. But obviously, there's no definitive proof of this yet. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these scary sea monsters that are alive in the world today? Are you surprised by some of the terrors that are out there in the waters? Does this make you afraid to go and see them? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.